Knicks family, what's poppin'? It's your boy. According to Ian Begley, Cam Reddish is starting tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and that's coming from Tom Thibodeau. It figures as soon as we get off the game preview, some breaking news would happen, but hey, I'm glad that Cam Reddish is starting tonight. We had a good discussion on the game preview, so make sure you go check that out between me, Uncle Fulio, and Andy about who should start because Evan Fournier is out resting. He's not injured. He's resting. We all came to the conclusion that it should be Cam Reddish. Uncle Fulio thought maybe it would be Derrick Rose because he's the next guy up. But the reasons we thought it should be Cam Reddish are this. One, defense. He's 6'8 with a long wingspan, which makes the switchability between R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Cam Reddish really, really nice. And when you're playing a team like the Indiana Pacers who have a a 6'5 shooting guard in Chris Duarte, a 6'4 small forward in Buddy Heald, and a 6'10 power forward in Jalen Smith, you know, those guys can switch between those three players pretty easy. Also, he can play the passing lanes. Now you can have a guy like Jalen Brunson put a little bit more pressure on the basketball, see what Tyrese Halliburton could do with Brunson's pressure. I think it works defensively for the New York Knicks. The question comes down to offense. See, with Evan Fournier in that starting lineup, and I believe he's a good fit there, he doesn't need the basketball in his hands. He can come off screens, catch and shoot, et cetera, et cetera. Can Cam do that? Well, part of the reason why many say he didn't get the chances in Atlanta is because he needed the ball in his hands and he was playing next to Trey Young, who you knew was going to have the ball in his hands. But I kind of disagree. I think his experience in Atlanta will help him as a starter with the New York Knicks for tonight, for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because he's used to playing off the ball, played off the ball when he was playing with Trey Young. But also Cam does a good job finding the seams in the offense. He's a slasher. He's a cutter. And I think you can utilize that, ladies and gentlemen, and he can facilitate a little bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will see what it looks like tonight. Make sure you leave your comments below. Check me out about 10.15 for the post-game show. And I'm out. Peace.